Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Echo XP here. And you know what? I was thinking, I really want to expand my anime game. I have what 200 ish watched, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. So what I decided to do is a concept I haven't seen anywhere. I just thought it'd be original. I want to try this out. This is gonna take a long, long time to record, so bear with me. Um we're gonna watch a hundred anime in a hundred days. So an anime a day, get that out of the way. Pretty much a lot of them are going to be 12 episode one. I'm going to expand on genre. I'm going to change up based off popularity, based off if it's bad or good. If it has a bad score, I might watch it. If it has a good score, I might watch it. But I asked a bunch of my YouTuber friends. Here's one, here's one, here's one. And I asked them, hey, give me some recommendations. And that's what I'm going to be going based off of. And I asked a couple friends that I know. But yeah, first anime that we're watching is Re-Life, which my friend that I know, he recommended it to me. Apparently it's about this grown man who is given the chance to go back to high school and live his life again. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, and since this is an anime challenge, I gotta hang up some anime posters. My walls are kinda looking blank. I don't want y'all staring at that the whole video. So yeah, let's get into it. I just finished up episode one of Real Life, which, you know, it was a pretty good first episode. Like, um, I, I would definitely watch this even if it wasn't just a challenge. I think that I'm going to go probably to episode four to give you another update because I can't record all of this. That's going to be way, way too much. That's 100 anime, probably 12 episodes each, uh, 20 minutes an episode plus more. Um... Uh, and yeah, so I'll check up at episode 3 and yeah, let you know. Alright, so I just finished episode 3 of Real Life. So the first three episodes are actually really solid. Um, episode 2 was pretty much, I, I think the theme was him trying to get over his past mistakes a little bit. And I think it was symbolized from when he just didn't smoke at the very end. And episode 3 was him realizing he's old basically. Um, it was a good, very good two episodes, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do these recaps at the end of three or four episodes, just so y'all know I'm not capping, and I'm actually watching these. Episode six or seven is when I'll record my next one, so peace. Okay, so this is gonna be the last one I do of this, just because this is gonna be a hundred anime, and I'm spending a lot of time on this, so at the end of the series, I'm just going to do a review so you knew I watched it. I'll include, like, pretty good details so you know I didn't look up a synopsis or whatever. Anyway, for the last episodes, they have basically been symbolizing regular teen issues without outright saying it. Because what the, what, what's Reyna, what she doesn't realize is that she's both smart and athletic while... Oh, uh, what's her name? The black hair girl is just intelligent, not athletic. And her, her best friend is just super athletic, not smart. So she has the best of both worlds and she doesn't realize that she's blessed that way. And they, she just sees them as rivals when they're far superior in that aspect. But in terms of intelligence, she's better than her friend. And in terms of athleticism, she's better than the other girl. So that's what I got from that. Anyway, let's get Okay, it's now 1 a.m. and I finished Real Life. Sorry, I had a bunch of shit to do. Like, I went out with my friend. I, I uh, called some of my homies. And yeah, it was good. It was solid, solid. An 8 out of 10 anime, really good. And yeah, on to the next one. Alrighty, next show. So, this one's called A Place Further Than the Universe. I heard Giga talking about it. He said a lot of really good things. He made a whole video about him traveling. So apparently it's this high school girl who thinks she's like wasting her youth or something and she wants to go on a trip and this other girl, she lost her mom 
when her mom went to explore Antarctica. So she goes on this um, exploration of Antarctica with her and a couple friends. And yeah, I'm gonna watch it now. So let's see. <laughs> Okay, well, I finally finished. Well, I finished it yesterday, but I fell asleep. I finished A Place Further Than the Universe. So good, so, so good. My favorite is Hinata, obviously. She's the goat, she's the goatest goat. And that shit was really sad. Like that genuinely made me really fucking sad, but it was really good. And yeah, I, I have to be kind of less descriptive, but parts like, I'll just say my favorite parts. I'd say when she found the emails that um, she sent to her mom on the laptop and went the very end of the story when, um, what's her name, Kim, Kimani, Kimani, I think it is, um, had her friend message her and she went to the, uh, went to Antarctica. So yeah, that was definitely, it's probably one of my top 20 of all time. So good and made me really fucking sad. But anyway, next one. Okay, next show. So this one's called Convenience Store Boyfriends, and I guess it's a romance. My friend was like, hey, check this out, because he has a watch list he's going to watch, and he showed me this one. So this looks intriguing. And um, so it's called, it's, the synopsis is six high school students' lives around the convenience store on their way to, from school. They talk about their lives and meet girls they end up falling for. So let's check it out. Okay, well, I finished Convenience Store Boyfriends. And wow, it was pretty good, pretty solid. I'm I'm a big fan of my uh, rom coms or romance, whatever. And yeah, um, it was pretty you know generic, but I really liked all the characters. I really liked the character arc with mommy and the main character's best friend. I really liked that story arc. I really like how that happened because then she realized she wasn't just living for herself. I mean, she wasn't just living for her family. She also has to live for herself and make priorities for herself. So yeah. Um, the ending of the show was really sad, but it was nice, um, and yeah, next show. Okay, next anime, The Comic Artist and His Assistants. I had to make a shorter one because I have to watch two, either today or tomorrow, because, um, I missed out on one of the days I had personal stuff, and yeah, so it's gonna be either today or tomorrow where I watch the two, but this one's just gonna get it over with quickly, um, it's 13 minutes an episode. 12 or 13 episodes so yeah let's get into it okay well i'm done with um a comic artist and his assistants and i did not really like it it was really hard to sit through but i trucked through it to make this and yeah i mean it was funny there were some funny parts like when um when ito helped what's her name uh his main assistant with the manuscript at the very end like i thought that was pretty funny because she finally gave in to what he was saying and it helped her kind of because she actually got one published and it was her debut so yeah i mean i'd give it like maybe a four it was really hard to sit through i'm sorry but um yeah fully coolly okay well i finished fully coolly yesterday i just didn't record it because i finished it at like 3 a.m but yeah, it was really good actually. It's the most 90s 2000 anime I've ever seen in my life. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed the characters and the premise is so unique. Like the, um, I don't know if they're robots, but the aliens coming out of his forehead and him having to fight it, like the, the episode where he had to bat the ball and it, it was just kind of like, there was some symbolism in it and I don't know, the ending was really good as well. But six episode anime, not much more I could say. I really enjoyed the characters and I'm bad with character names. Y'all know that. But yeah, peace.